Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. We are back in Scarlet Nexus for another standby section, um, which is pretty much just me talking to all our squad mates. And uh, for those who didn't come from the previous video, I've got pretty much all the squad mates now, so there's going to be a lot of talking, I think. So, yeah, this might be a long one, so yeah, just sit back. Maybe, uh, Grab something to snack on, a nice thing to drink, get some tea, get a coffee, um, maybe get like a pop or something, get some chips. And yeah, we'll just um, start talking to each one of these guys and see what they have. We'll just get to know them and uh, hopefully I can unlock more combat abilities for each one of these characters. So yeah, let's actually deal with this first. Could it be a Septentrion? Uh, Sheed and Ritter. Well, I have a bad feeling that Kodama's twin sister is one of the Septentrions. I'm wrong, right? Someone tell me I'm wrong. The posing, the one posing as Fubuki said she was Yuta Malone. Melanie, Malone. That weirdo with the transformation power. There's a well-known rumor among Septentrion fans that one of the classified members has transformation powers. Not all seven Septentrion members have been made public. There's a lot of mystery surrounding the one with transformation powers in particular. First class is Karin, second class is Fubuki, sixth class is Luka, which actually is, um, Luka is hanging out in, uh, a Yuito's team right now. <laughs> and seventh class is Seto. Those were the four Septentrion members who were close to us. So why do you two Septentrion fans have such a problem adding Yuta to this list? We're talking about the identity of a mis mysterious Septentrion member of the OSF kept classified for it to turn out to be someone like that. Ugh. How could I stand something like that? Blech. Yeah, I was. Uh, it was something like an urban legend. I didn't even believe it was true. I just can't understand. I'm not a Septentrion fan, but I understand where you're coming from. You both have my condolences. Wait, what? Why would she give them condolences? Did someone? Oh, they were they're they're fans of uh, Seto, I believe, since uh, he's the one who passed away. She didn't rid her. Did he look up to Seto? I think he did. He wanted to be in his um, uh, team instead. Uh, originally, Kyoka and Seto were the platoon leaders, um, and uh, she didn't got assigned to Kyoka team and he said he wanted to be on uh, Seto's team and uh, he never had the chance so kind of sad and yeah unlocked more missions which uh, I can't really do at the moment they seem like end game uh, challenges more than anything the enemies in there are like level 70 and I'm like barely level not even level 50 I don't think I am level 49 almost there <laughs> so yeah I don't even know what max level is in this game there's so much space in the uh area after i guess in the level area like can you potentially go to like level 1000 at some point we keep grinding <laughs> i feel like i don't know level 99 level 100 would probably be um max hopefully it doesn't take too much of a grind because uh at the moment the higher level you get the more experience points required so hopefully the last few levels don't take too much time uh what else is there let's start giving gifts i think i'm gonna start giving gifts actually no let's let's do these uh uh missions first and then we'll give gifts and then uh we'll see what's what okay kasane you really are strong even with all this discouragement you just take it and keep fighting that's thanks to you and everyone else I'm not that strong on my own. I don't remember doing anything special, but I guess I'm happy I could help. Oh, this is just a quick uh, level up. No, like, crazy dialogue to get to know them and stuff. I got her prolonged sass effect. Which is, I guess I can use her in SAS for a longer period of time, which is going to be really useful. I feel like hers... Uh, deplete really quickly and takes a very long time to recharge. <laughs> too too long for my liking. I hate trouble, but I'm always willing to help you whenever you need me to. I never thought I'd hear that from you. I'm honored. Thank you. 
Yay, she's our friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hanabi? That was Arashi's seat. <laughs> she was slouching there. <laughs> I guess let's talk to Hanabi. I can't believe Togetsu was after Yuito. I'm worried that they might send more people. Uh, oh, hers is a Bond episode. Alright, let's see what we have. Why don't we go to Misubi's? We'll have some tea. Sure, I could use a break. Let's go. I don't really know what the point of Musubi's is yet. I'm just glad I don't have to fight you anymore. Like, if there's anything more to this place, because whenever I come here, there's like nothing. Uh, I think I got maybe like two quests from here so far. So I feel like that's like not that great to have the entire place just for like two quests. Maybe something else. Hopefully something else is used for that. I guess there's that like thing that makes you watch the uh, anime for the next Scarlet Lexus anime apparently has codes in them that you can use to unlock stuff in the game. And uh, the character for that to like unlock all that is here. But yeah, I guess, I don't know. This is like the place they all hang out for these like Bond episodes. So people might, it might be just like an extra feature for you to be able to explore it and kind of take in the, the scenery and the environment and the flavor of this place uh, outside of these weird cutscenes. We finally became friends. It sucks not being able to just go out for some tea. Yes, I'm glad we're fighting for the same thing too. So this is just hypothetical, but... Hmm? What? If I had asked you to fight alongside me when we were enemies, what would you have done? She totally would just stick with Yuito, silly. What? You were going to ask me that? I thought about it. You're a great soldier in the OSF. You would have been a big help. Stop it! You're making me blush! That's a hard one, though. Would I choose friendship or... Romantic interest? Or what? Oh, nothing! Yeah, I probably would have fought on Yuito's side. Can I ask why? Because she likes him. I mean, we grew up together. He's not like you. I can't leave him on his own. You mean he's not reliable? Yeah, <laughs> I got him. No, not that. He has his own ideals, and he always worked so hard. I think that's what makes him worry so much. It was hard for him when he had to fight you. So, I wanted to be with him during that hard time and help him. Oh. Honestly, I don't really understand. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. It's not that I don't like the idea of fighting together with you. What I don't understand is why you care about Yuito so much. What? Because she loves him. You grew up together, but he's not family. Is it a good idea to be so devoted to another person that they're the deciding factor in whether you fight? I, I mean, I... Why are we the ones who uh, are questioning her? We're kind of doing the same thing with uh, Naomi, but I guess she is technically family in our case. But really, like, if you have someone in your life that you have a strong bond with, right? That's kind of what I'm going for. It's like, yeah, Kasane is fighting for Naomi, which is probably the same sentiment as to why Hanabi is fighting for uh, Yuito. I think depending on other people like that is emotionally immature. Oh yeah? <laughs> so she thinks of herself as emotionally immature then? You don't have to say it like that. Sorry, I'm leaving. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. I wonder why. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? No. If that's true... And I really did mess up. She was the only one who like jumped on top of him and started like crying over him when he like finally woke up. So <laughs> no one else did. So what is the thing that uh, stands out in that scene? <laughs> hmm. You really are cool, Kasane. Oh, oh, you really think so? Cool. Her color looks a bit washed out here. Is it because of like the bright light coming from that room? 
Like, they look more vibrant in their colors when uh, they were at Musubi's. You were a bit standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this, but I can't help but admire you. On level 2! Flame Pillar. She augments your, uh, your charge ability. Uh, while Sass is active, hold Y to activate Flame Pillar. Deal high damage in focused area. Nice! And yeah, she also Guardian Vision, which is like she randomly blocks an attack for you. <laughs> Wait! If everyone has Guardian Vision... I'm starting to understand you better. What a coincidence. I feel like I know you better too. Why do I want to do this one again? <laughs> Let's uh, rotate through them so it doesn't feel awkward like we're just rushing into one person's bond. <laughs> but yeah, um, will there be a point where I get so much guardian visions from all these characters that like I essentially have, uh, I don't know, like a 90% chance that I'll block most things. <laughs> and uh, I can like play more fast and loose. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next person. Yuito. Nice uh, moves. Yeah, I also uh, decked the, these guys out slightly. I gave him like that hologram thing on his shoulder, <laughs> the sunglasses, and like these blood bags. I don't know, it just looked cool. I, I don't even know what they're for, but it has radioactive on them. I gave him Oni horns. Um, I think that's it. I gave... Okay, who else? I gave Luca like double glasses, so he has a backup, um, a backup set of uh, goggles in case his main goggles break. I don't know why they let you do that. I thought it was funny, so that's why he's uh, currently wearing double goggles. It's to intimidate the enemies. They'll tell, they'll look at him and be like, "Where's his real eyes?" <laughs> and uh, what's her name? Sugumi. She. I gave her like cat ears and a cat paws and cat feet, so she's super adorable. Um, I think everyone else looks the same. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Yuito. Hey Yuito, how are you doing today? Kasane, you're kind of like a lone wolf. Hmm, uh, sure. You mean that I'm isolated? No, not like that. Sorry, maybe that was a bad choice of words. I meant that you can take care of yourself. I really think that's amazing. Wow, on level level 2. Sass recovery speed. I haven't used his uh, ability yet, so I don't really know what he, his does. Wait, does it tell you? Oh, I can't scroll up. Enhance psychokinesis and psychokinesis field. So does activating his just make my throws just stronger or something like that? My light object throwing? I guess we'll find out. I think I got to know you a little better. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Ah, oh, he gets to be beside Hanabi. I'm so jealous. I'm beside whoever was here. I think it's uh, Sugumi. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's talk to. Oh, well, everyone's hanging out here. Oh, everyone has. Oh, there's a lot of these bond missions, and I thought there was only one for each. And seeing that, after you finish it more appears, I'm like, uh-oh, I, maybe I should stop talking so much and just, like, uh, go through these quicker. <laughs> the forced transmission we sent has caused so much confusion among the citizens and government, but it was a necessary evil. Uh, bond episode. There's something I want to ask you about my brother. How about we discuss it over at Musubi's to help change the mood? Thanks. Uh, sure, that sounds good. Musubi's? Okay, but I figure you know more about Karin than I do. Perhaps. Well, if it's to change the mood, then I suppose I don't have a reason to say no. Let's go then. So is he like a boy genius, or is he just super old but he's tiny? So, what things about Karin did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Uh, what, who was his brother again? Karin, right? Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? 
You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. And he tried to kill us. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. All right. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. <laughs> Thank you. I just, I don't know, I was just feeling so weird that the, <laughs> the four goggles is just kind of ruining how the seriousness of the... Uh, not four goggles, the two goggles with the four lenses. <laughs> it's kind of ruining the seriousness of this conversation. <laughs> He's like, where are my true eyes? You'll never know. I received a brain message. No talking? Okay. You are also from a two-child family, Kasane. It is only my brother and I, so that is a small thing we have in common. Well, Naomi and my brother are certainly different types. She seems to care for her sister very much. My brother does care about me in his own way. Does he? I thought I saw Karin attack you before, like it was nothing. That's a pretty strange way to show affection. Ha 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 Well, I suppose there are many kinds of brothers and sisters. Alright, Tsugumi. How are you doing? Oh, Kasane? We kept in contact with Tsugumi pretty much as uh, we did our stuff. She like taught us how to garden and stuff. What are you so startled about? She looks so adorable over there, cat stuff, doesn't she? Nothing. I didn't think I would be able to talk to you. I'm sorry for being startled, but I was just so happy to be noticed. Bond level two. Uh, shell break. While Sass is active, hitting with a reed attack allows you to break shells with one hit. So that's the dodge, right? Let's 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 take a look at that. So yeah, that's a dodge, but because she has clairvoyant vision, whenever she does uh, a a, a counter attack, I guess from the dodge, she automatically breaks shells. Cool. That would be that's that would be pretty useful. <laughs> have we become closer? Yes, we have. I'm not sure. It depends on your definition of closer, but I feel like we at least understand each other better. Get closer. Get closer, Sugumi. Oh. Um. Gemma. Uh, he's been uh, re contemplating his life. What are you doing, Kasane? Re contemplating? He's been uh, do making changes in his life. 
<laughs> he has a black belt, it looks like, in like karate or something. <laughs> a part of his outfit. What do you mean? Could you be more specific? Like physically? No, never mind. It's not a big deal. Oh, is uh, increased sass recovery speed and guardian vision. Status ailment neg negation is coming up next. That's that'd be interesting. It looks like he doesn't have like ability. <laughs> I think I understand the kind of person you are. I feel the same way. I hope we're able to interact a little more. All right. Uh, Yuito. Oh, let's talk to these two. This is a nice hideout. Uh, this is a nice hideout too. It's very even spacious enough for the whole team to relax. It's so much livelier with more people. I know it's the same old hideout, but it feels like somewhere di completely different. They're just hanging out, which is nice. Okay, Kagero and Shiden. Let's do Shiden now. You continue to dust that, Shiden. Tell Yuito and his team not to clutter up the hideout. Arashi does enough of that on her own. On to episode. Hey, you free now? Oh yeah. Yes, what is it? There's something I want to ask you. Come with me. Why did you bring me all the way here? Because nobody will overhear us. Look at this. What are we looking at? That's the analysis from a recent fight. Don't worry about the details. I want you to look at the other kill rate. Your numbers have been improving lately. You must be seeing results from your training. Yeah, but you're doing even better than me. Uh, naturally. <laughs> Not by much. It's all within the margin of error. Listen, that small difference you're talking about is something I've never been able to make up for. It doesn't make sense to me that no matter how hard I study and work, I still can't beat you. Well, our powers are kind of rigged. We control time, uh, kind of. And yours is electricity. But I guess if you... <laughs> I keep... For some reason, I keep mentioning um, a certain magical index. Even though that's not even one of my top, like, 10 animes. <laughs> but yeah, he has, like, this electricity, which um, is similar to the, one of the main characters in, in a certain magical index. Uh, her name is Railgun. I guess her hero name is Railgun, who is also uses electric, but because in that show, uh, they kind of dive deeper into the scientific uh, aspects of things. She can also control magnets, <laughs> like magnetic fields and stuff through manipulating electric fields. And uh, yeah, if she didn't could uh, just learn more about electricity, he can control <laughs> magnetics as well. Then he would have psycho... Uh, kin kinetic abilities, but with only magnetic objects. <laughs> it's time I swallow my pride and ask you. What kind of secret training are you doing? Secret training? I'm not doing anything like that. No, there has to be some sort of secret strategy you're using. I told you I'm not doing anything like that. If you watch me, you can see that I'm not doing anything special. Are you saying that this is just a difference in our natural abilities? How? If that's true, then it doesn't matter what I do. I'll never be able to catch up to you. I don't really understand. Is there a reason you need to catch up to me? I should just be some baggage the rest of my life? I don't think so. Whoa, that's, uh, extremes. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but everyone in this platoon are top talents, even Kagero. I'm the only one that's different. I'm nothing compared to the rest of you. You're the only one who opens uh, electric gates for us while we're out in the field. I have to work myself to the bone if I'm even going to keep up. And it's paying off. I don't see you as baggage. Even after looking at the data? No matter how hard I train, this is the reality. If this is my limit, then I can't stay in this platoon! That's just, like, one aspect <laughs> of just other killing, right? There's all these other aspects that he could... He's probably better than uh, Kasane, but he's just so, like, focused on this one thing that is... <laughs> that 
that's probably worth bringing up. If Kasane was like a good leader, she would probably bring up, like, oh, though I could kill more others than you every mission, whatever. But um, yeah, you could point out some like way Shiden is like better, and like oh, you can uh, go on missions and have a lot of confidence and uh, not uh, worry about uh, failure or whatever, or potentially fear. You you're really confident in yourself. That's not something I have or something. <laughs> Shiden. What should I do once I catch up to him? I don't know how to tell him how I feel. Kasane? Shiden just rushed out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like I've upset him again. You don't need to apologize. I know you must have tried communicating with him. You two have such different upbringings and perspectives. You have to assume you'll have disagreements. That means he'll never understand where I'm coming from. Right. What do you want him to do? What do you mean? I want him to continue fighting with us as a team. Have you ever tried telling him? Why don't you catch up to him and say just that? I have a feeling he might get angry again, but I haven't thought of a better way to reach out to him. Okay, I'll go after him. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Shiden is heading towards Seiran. Haruka, how do you know his location? We are all chipped. I'm the team's operator. He just rushed out of the hideout, so I figured you two got into another fight. Good call. That's exactly what happened. Thank you for telling me. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Mmm, this is a little slightly different than, uh previous Bond episodes, we actually have to go out into the field and uh, continue this mission. All the other ones are just like a dialogue and then like, hooray, you guys are better friends now. Oop. There you are. Kasane? Why did you come after me? Get lost. Where are you going? <sighs> I understand that you're troubled. I can see how discouraging it is to work hard and not see results. But running away just because you couldn't become stronger than someone? That's not the kind of person you are. You just overestimated me. This is what I'm really like. I'm not even that good. But my pride makes me constantly worry about everyone around me. I put on a facade because I'm scared I'm inferior to everyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you so obsessed with being better than everyone? How useful an individual is depends on circumstances. Have you ever been unable to control your own abilities? You mean my power? Yeah. When I was young, I caused an accident because of it. Uh oh. Nobody got hurt, but I was just lucky. The next time it happens, someone might get hurt. Worst case scenario, people might even die. I put on these insulation gloves and trained hard to control my power. But I can't get rid of that nagging feeling. Even back when I was still a kid, I've never been able to overcome my own weakness. I guess that is like something to be concerned about if you have like this power that is constantly getting you into trouble. <laughs> So you feel inadequate. <sighs> I've never found you lacking. Our platoon needs your composure, analytic skills, and judgment. Please, come back to us. I want to keep fighting alongside you. I... An other warning. Kasane, Shiden. Others have been confirmed inside Seiron City. Others? There was no forecast. Uh-oh. Sometimes the forecasts are wrong. Look, there are still citizens inside who weren't able to evacuate in time. Let's go. We have to save them. Yeah. Haruka, send us the others' location. I was, like, half expecting a lot more, um of the Bond episodes be like this, where you gotta do something in the field, but 
all the ones before this, except for like the very first one with Yuito, has been just be like, oh, let's meet at Misubis, let's meet at uh, Seiran, let's meet at New Haruka, or or was it Suho, and just hang out for a little bit. Ho ho. That's right near my home. Uh oh. What? You didn't know either, Haruka. Is there a suppression force heading there now? There's a patrol in the area. They should prioritize evacuating the nearby civilians. My family should have already evacuated by now. We should head to where they appeared. You must be worried about your family. I don't need your concern. A member of the OSF should prioritize saving the citizens over their own family. You can drop the act. If you lose them without doing anything, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Just do it. Yes, let's hurry. We got this. Wait, Wait, you're coming with me? Yeah, we're buddies. Obviously. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. Hey, why are you taking the lead? I'll support you from here. You two be careful. What's going on? How are there still this many others? The reports were wrong. There aren't even suppression forces. Let's go help. Wait. Will we be able to hold back that many others? Shouldn't we wait for reinforcements? Believe in yourself, Shiden. You're here with the main protagonist of the story. We've got plot armor at the moment. We're gonna be good. If we don't act now, they'll start attacking people. We have to slow them down here. Against this many? That's suicide! Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. Damn it. I know that. Captain Seto would say the same thing. There's no guarantee the civilians will be able to get away before the reinforcements arrive. My parents might... So we're the only ones who can stop them here. Captain Seto, give me strength. Strength. Let's go. You better pull your own weight. Right back at you. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, we actually get to fight. Ah. With electricity, you'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. I'm actually. <laughs> I can burn the water attack. Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. Hey, what? Why don't? Why can't I do my charge attack? Suppose that was pretty good. You should leave it to me. All right. Uh, a little bit of action. It's over. Yep, let's do it. Now you hit the wrong one. I should be using my SAS powers more. Do we just stand far away? Where's uh? He's over here. Take him out quick. Did they just laugh at me? Focus on that spot. I'll do it. Whoa. Bravado. If you're tired, you can run back to the hideout. I'll take care of this. Is that supposed to provoke me? Oh, child, I'll go along with it this time. Whatever. Now let's finish this. It's over. Damn. Oh, no. I can't move. Oh, thanks. He actually like cleared off that status ability. The shell is broken. Attack now. That seems to be the spot. I'm using it. Next. We got them all. Yeah, we did it. Blah.
That's all of them. Are you all right? <laughs> of course I'm all right. Who do you think I am? You're Sheedan. Uh, I was careful not to let name. any of them get away. I'm pretty sure we managed to stop them all here. Haruka, this is Shiden. We exterminated the others that appeared at our current location. Are there any more sightings? I was just about to contact you. We've confirmed that all others in Ceyron have been exterminated. You two really pulled off quite the feat. Good job. There's a rescue team headed your way. All the civilians have been accounted for at the evacuation site. Zero casualties. That's good news, Shiden. Thank goodness. Why don't you go see your family? No. I just needed to know they're okay. Then let's head back to the hideout. Hey, <laughs> back to the hideout. Sorry. You did well out there and made some good calls. You really pulled your weight. Enough with the flattery. I was too busy fighting to think about anything else. That just shows how much you were able to focus. Neither of us had the time to think about anything. I guess so. But this wasn't an official deployment. There won't oh. be any data to evaluate. He, like, turned on his little, like, mask thing. And because of that, he has his mask in this cutscene. But normally he should have, like, that red visor thing. And, uh, Baki hair clip <laughs> that I gave him. Does that upset you? No. I feel accomplished. I don't even regret putting on Captain Seto's mask. Oh, I see. It's part of the story. <laughs> if that's how you feel, then that's worth more than any analysis data. You're right. This is the first time I've ever felt that there's more to an encounter than stats. I think I'll stay on the team for a little while longer. You can stay as long as you want. It's only as long as I feel I have something to gain. This platoon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thanks. I obtained Seto's custom mask. I'm not saying you're suited to be a leader or anything. As much as I hate to admit it, there's no one else that could do it. What? You're babbling so much I can't follow. What's your point? I... I mean... You're doing a good job. For now, at least. Reach bond level 5. Prolong SAS effect and shock negation. Nice. That is a really good uh, thing to have. Shock is just such a... Uh, it just takes you out for so long. It's just, like, not fun. <laughs> I guess you can quickly, like, switch your uh, items and do the... The one that, like, takes away ailments or status effects. But I don't know, filling through that menu in, in, in like, the heat of the battle, it's not something I am good at. Ah, it's a bunch of Spend enough time with anyone, and it doesn't matter how much you don't get along. You somehow know what they're thinking, right? I never said I disliked you, but I do agree that we've come to know each other. Who else? Who else? Who else? Gemma? Let's talk to Gemma. What's, what's up, Gemma? Do you remember the other day when I asked you how you were doing? Sure. Yes. What was that about? I'm sorry for the strange question. I just didn't know what to say to a young person. I only wanted to know how you were doing. If everything's okay, then that's good. One level reached. Level three. Genma. So I got another level really quickly here with him. Status ailment negate. Negation? What does that mean? You're immune. You are immune to stats ailments while SAS is active. Oh, that's cool. And uh, you, I can use this combo vision, which is just like a huge punch, <laughs> like a Superman punch. You're a trustworthy individual. I know that now. That's an honor coming from a veteran like yourself. Let's do Hanabi again. <laughs> I can't believe Togetsu was after Yuito. I'm worried that they might send more people. Bond episode. Hanabi, about before, I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? 
we're gonna start uh, flaunting you in front of him so that he'll uh, finally get the hint. I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa, let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. Then how, how come you like jumped on top of him and started like making out? <laughs> no, he did. She didn't make out with him. <laughs> she just started crying. I guess she was really emotional. <laughs> if you don't like him, do you hate him? Well, what? <laughs> uh, our Kasane is um, not very smart. <laughs> I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. He's a really important friend to her. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. What? No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Damn. Oh. We got data. Okay, that's enough. We got data to to support <laughs> your feelings for Yuito. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah. I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, okay. It was uh, Naomi who liked him. And uh, we were kind of scouting. <laughs> but now that Naomi is dead, we've kind of uh, replaced her with you. You're, you're Naomi 2.0 now. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Who is now dead. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane? I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? She has a, a long drawn out plan. She's playing the long game. <laughs> she has a she has it all figured out already on exactly how to get him to like her. <laughs> and uh, it's just a little too early. <laughs> because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier or as a person. You said it before. It's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. <laughs> oh, Hanabi, the normalist out of all everyone here. <laughs> hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. Uh, I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. Bond level 3 with Hanabi! Increase SAS recovery speed at combo, vision, 
Combo V. So yeah, she gets a uh, combo vision now. Oh, cool! Her combo vision just like has a huge area effect, or AOE. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I want to hear more about you. All right, tell me more about you as well. Mm hmm. No, nothing. <laughs> They just say, I want to hear more about you. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, bye. We have Sugumi or Luka. Let's do Sugumi first. I guess Sugumi is pretty normal. Luka is like super short. <laughs> Sugumi is pretty normal. This guy is like creepy. Um, Shiden is like creepy. Um... Arashi is lazy. Yuito is kind of a, like an egghead. He's like not very smart. <laughs> or at least he's clueless, I guess. And Gemma is, um, I guess he's like the most mature out of everyone. But um, yeah, I guess he's pretty normal too. But yeah, Hanabi being a young girl. She's my favorite character. Alright, let's talk to Tsukumi. You're really strong, Kasane. I think you're pretty strong, too. I don't mean in battle. I mean mentally. Nothing ever gets to you. Everything gets to her. She got so she got so gotten that she ripped a hole in space and time. I always get overwhelmed by everything outside of battle. That's why I want to learn from you. On level 3, Sugumi! Psychokinesis read attacks and combo vision. Uh, after a perfect dodge, use right trigger to perform a read attack uh, to damage the enemy and knock them prone. So once I dodge, I can smack them and they fall over. And uh, I can also use a combo vision. How does that look like? So she fires. Oh, she just jumps up in the air and fires, like, her revolver. Does she, like, unload, like, uh, McCree? Just, like, ba 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 <laughs> It looks like she only fires, like, one super strong shot or something. I guess we can use some of these in battle just to see how it looks like, too, at some point. Do we understand each other a bit? Oh, yeah. I feel like we've come to understand each other a little better than that. Let's get to know each other a little bit more, Sugumi. Ah, what, what, what do you have in mind, Senpai? Ah, <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a. Oh, I haven't talked to this person at all yet. <laughs> oh, Kasane, were you worried about me or something? How? Oh, don't worry. I told you. I've been thinking about it. Bond episode. Kagura, can we talk? Oh, sorry. Can it wait till later? I was about to go work out in the gym. Uh, we can talk while you work out. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to turn down your invitation. I have to work hard every day to be this awesome, so I can't afford to skip. I didn't know he worked out. I suppose I could do with a little working out, too. What? Woof, go. Woof. Nobody's here. He's working out invisible. Does He's... that mean he pretended to come here and then turned invisible? That's strange. Haruka, you have a second? I don't see Kagero. Do you know where he went? What? You can't see him? Did he? <gasps> what did do he you do? have an idea where he is? Kagero behaves himself in front of girls, but when it's a group of guys, he gets really inappropriate. Wait, what? He was talking with my brother about some perverted situations involving his invisibility, and I was mortified. Something about being able to peep in the shower room while invisible. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's actually, um, Kagero really loves to work out, like, completely naked, so that's why he went, <laughs> he went invisible, so that, um, no one can see him, like, completely naked. <laughs> He's just like, oh man, I really gotta feel the weight, you know, on my skin and nothing else. I don't like any other clothes touching, just the weight so I can focus on it. Ah, yes, being naked makes it so that when I do squats, I can get really deep into it and not have to worry like about my underwear or my pants like kind of creasing into my legs or twisting up. I can just completely feel the my muscle strands 
and the movement as well as I can, and it just makes it so satisfying. You can really feel the pump. <laughs> well, I don't think he was serious, and I doubt he'd do that in the hideout. I'll go check his GPS location. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Huh? These coordinates are outside the hideout. He left the compound and is on the move. It looks like he's heading towards Mizuhagawa. Mizuhagawa? Why is he going there? I don't know. Maybe taking a walk? Hmm. I should go check it out. Oh, okay. we... Be careful. We get another, like, combat section, it looks like, potentially. According to Haruka, Kagura should be around here. There he is. He doesn't look like anything's wrong. Maybe she was right and he's just taking a walk. He's like crying. I miss my family. Hey now, am I really that untrustworthy? I guess I am. You noticed I was here? I didn't follow you because I was suspicious. I was just a little worried. Either way, you're right not to trust me, considering everything I've done up till now. So why did you lie to come here? Oh, I was feeling a bit bored. Sometimes I just want to be alone for a little while. And this was just one of those times. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. At the very least, you're not like your usual self. Is something wrong? Hey, why do you go on living? Where did that come from? I don't understand the question. Your beloved sister Naomi died, right? I'm asking you how you can still go on living. What's your motivation? <sighs> it's already been 2,000 years. 2,000 years that I've lived in a world without my daughter. Can you imagine what that's even like? No, not really. I'm just empty. I've lived this long to protect my daughter's existence. But once I do that, I don't have a reason to live. Can he potentially find, like, the lineage that uh, his daughter may have left? <laughs> left behind, like, the family that she created? 2,000 years is a very long time. <laughs> That's like, what? Well, like 100, maybe 200. 200 generations? Maybe more? I don't know how exactly generations will work. Maybe more. Maybe like 400 generations. <laughs> Of, uh, oh, maybe not 400. So let's say, like, every 50 years is a generation. Uh, and, uh, you divide 2,000 by 50. So that's, uh, 200 divided by 5, which is 40 generations. Yeah, that sounds more. <laughs> that sounds, uh, better. 40 generations uh, of people. So, what is that um, in terms of how many people that could have be created? <laughs> Let's say she had two children, and each of those children had two children. But then you also have to assume that they found someone to have children with. So, yeah, that 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 becomes a a really big number really quickly for after forty. <laughs> you just keep doubling it. But then again, that, that's not always guaranteed. Maybe some people tragically die at an early age and wasn't able to leave, like, a legacy. Or some people have more, maybe like eight children. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that just messes it all up. <laughs> Anyways, continue. When I looked up at that moon, I'd feel hate, nostalgia, all sorts of things. But now, I feel nothing. It's like I'm already half dead. I guess that's what it means to lose the people we love. Is it different for you? She's like, I haven't processed it yet. It just happened like yesterday. And uh, on top of that, um, we're already on our next mission. We're trying to stop the moon from destroying the world, essentially. I'm not empty. I'm only alive now because my sister protected me. Twice. That's why I can't let my life go to waste. I have to live on. For her. Because I lost my sister, I have to live to make sure that tragedy never happens again. Young people can be so positive. You're an old man who's lived for 2,000 years. If you've got time to feel sorry for yourself, why don't you do something meaningful? 
If you feel like your life is empty, then use the time you have to think about how to fill it. Don't call me an old man. Kids these days are so harsh. Did you really need to say all that? But you are old man. <laughs> this is all just a joke to you. Don't put it like that. This is my style. Fill the emptiness, you know? You know, getting left behind by time really sucks. It's a lot harder than you can imagine. I came all the way out here because I didn't want you to see me down like this. I'm so lame. Yes, very lame. Your daughter would think so too. Now that's really depressing. Your daughter and her boyfriend? Ah! Fine. It's time to bust out the super cool Kagero to win back you and my daughter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Alright. Received a brain message. Oh, if you see a bunch of brain messages. <laughs> Did you notice, Kasane? I went through some things in the past, and now I have an artificial right eye. We've talked a lot uh, about a lot, but I wanted to let you know that just in case. I see. So your right eye is artificial. I'm glad you shared that. Now I can prepare myself if something goes wrong with your artificial eye. If it's really old, it must be hard to get parts for it. Let me know if anything happens. I'll help you out. Thanks, man. Ugh. When I woke up from cryogenic sleep, I got the newest model, so it should be alright. Even so, the fact that you care makes me feel like you're growing up. I feel like a happy big brother. Thank you. Want to watch a game? Uh, why don't we go watch a game to celebrate us making up? The match is pretty far off, but I got two tickets. You've probably figured it out, but these are depressing tickets that remind me I don't have the courage to ask you, Ito. I'll, I'll go, but I don't get what's fun about watching sports. I've never done it before. It's weird that Hanabi would be the one asking us to watch sports with her since we do have like manly men here who is stereotypically the ones who would want to watch sports. <laughs> like, uh, I guess she didn't potentially, but he's kind of a nerd, so maybe he's not into watching sports. But we do have Gemma too. He seems like the kind of guy who would be into sports, right? <laughs> like stereotypically and shadow, shallowly judging him, him by his appearance. <laughs> Um, what does she say? You've never been to a game? Then uh, you have to give it a try. I'll let you know when the day gets closer. <laughs> so she originally wanted to ask Yuito and then uh, kind of um, had cold feet. I was a problem earlier. I won't say sorry, but I will say thank you for helping me. I didn't think it was much of a problem, but I accept your thanks. It's strange to hear you be thankful, she didn't. Just who do you think I am? Blah. I say thank you if someone helps me. I guess that's not true for everyone, though. After today, I feel like I might be able to grasp something necessary to make me, or to really make me stronger. I'll think about it. Uh, that's good, I guess. He's good, she's good. Okay, we got Yuito. I feel fine. Thanks for everything, Kasane. It's good to be working with you. Oh, Kasane. Perfect. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Yes, what it is. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. <laughs> Are we going to ask Yuito how he feels about uh, Hanabi? <laughs> and it turns out he has like the same thing. Like, I really like her, but I feel like she's such a great person that... Uh, I'm like not good enough for her, so uh, I just I just wish I was a better person. And then uh, you, she, then Kasane can be like, uh, yeah, she feels the same way. And uh, actually, we we promised her that she we wouldn't uh, tell her secrets. So we'd be like, I we should tell Yuito. I think um, we should maybe uh, talk to Hanabi about <laughs> about it and uh, see how far he can get. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, <laughs> and then see what Yuito does. Oh, actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone, but the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. It's funny how they're just like, oh yeah, Yuto's memory is complete, that's all you need to know, but it's, if you really think about it, it's like... 
How would he, if, if his memories are not complete, how are we supposed to know for sure if he can't remember it? And uh, we have nothing to really reference. No, like, it's not like we copied his memory and then are able to compare what his current memories are to what he had before. <laughs> so if he's forgetting something, there's really, really no way we'll, we'll know for sure. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, it's complete. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's in working order, so we don't have to worry about too much about it. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I suppose I should humor him a bit. <laughs> it's like, it turns out like he can't do math anymore or something. You're like, oh, uh, can you figure out this, uh, I don't know, this equation for me? Uh, I'm having trouble. And he's like, what is this? I, I have no idea what this is. Oh my goodness, my memories. I used to be really good at math and now I suck. Uh, uh, not all my memories are here. Ah! And it turns out it's because everyone else was bad at math. <laughs> so when they like pulled their brain powers together to fix Yuito's brain, <laughs> none of them had like math abilities to pass on to him. <laughs> Alright, I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. This is one of the cases where just because you acknowledge it doesn't mean it is valid. It's like, yeah, the story was all over the place. We're enemies one second, we're friends the next, and uh, there really wasn't any reason aside from the writers just pretty much jamming it down our throat. <laughs> it's like super, what's the word, contrived? It's like, yeah, just just go with it, whatever. <laughs> and uh, there was the explanation of how these things flow from like, plot point A to plot point B uh, and like make it so that Yuito and Kasane being enemies and then flow into being allies those like connection points they don't really make a lot of sense but whatever <laughs> so yeah just because he mentions it doesn't make it valid <laughs> sometimes I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power in the same time at the same place might mean it's fate. Oh my god, you like that anime too? You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh. That's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Are they getting meta here? It's like, it's as if there's like a writer writing my destiny at the moment. I can't really put my finger on it, but it's as if we're in some sort of like video game and uh there's this player that's uh controlling us and uh a co trying it's the player's trying his, his best to complete the missions and everything but the story itself is like unfolding before the player's eyes and we really have no control over it i i just can't quite put my put put my finger on it kasane do you have any inspiration uh or advice you can give me about this fate does seem like something being forced on us but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point, I'll give him that. It's true that I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh, right, I haven't told you yet. It's about Nagi. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, the one character. <laughs> like, I was already, I was kind of already, like rem uh, looking through this cast of characters, and I'm like, wait, something is missing here. Wasn't there more characters than this? And I totally forgot about Nagi. <laughs> and, uh, like, uh, we, di we didn't care pretty much. We, di we don't care about Nagi at all. And he bring him up, and at this point, we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> what? Nagi? You mean that Nagi? What happened? 
Jeez, it'll be funny if Kasane is like, who's Naki? He was subjected to the government's personality rehabilitation. And, well, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. I thought there was something I could do for him, a way to bring him back. But I was too late. I couldn't save him. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been, for you and Nagi. He... he was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got roped into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with you, I'd imagine Nagi would still find himself involved if he joined the OSF. But if he hadn't become friends with me, then the chance of this happening would have been much lower. It's my fault he lost his life. Nagi was his own person. He made his own choices in life. He wasn't an extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt, but I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship with you denied. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. I wonder how this is going to work when you play as Yuito. I'm guessing this is hinting or trying to tease like Yuito's um, side of the story so that when you complete Kasane's side, you're got, you get a little bit of like plot reasons to go back and revisit Yuito's side of the story. But right now, um, Kasane is the one that's kind of like consoling Yuito, and this is like our bond mission in uh, Kasane's point of view, speaking with Yuito. So would this play the same or, or get altered slightly when you play as Yuito? Or will it still play out the same? I, I don't know. Um, hmm. Or would this bond mission will just be completely different? And uh, we would be, I don't know, consoling Kasane about something like, oh, um, maybe about her sister's death, since that happened in her part of the story that you probably won't know as Yuito. I don't know. That's really interesting. <laughs> or at least maybe it's uh, curious as to, or I I'm curious as to uh, if this would be in Yuito's side of the story or does uh, the interactions between Yuito and Kasane change depending who the main character is or who you're playing as? Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Look yes, me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. Step aside, Hanabi. We're gonna go after Yuito now. I have a long way to go. It's painfully obvious when I fight alongside you. I don't think we're that different. That actually might be true, but there's a whole lot I need to learn. You helped me see some parts of myself I couldn't see on my own. In any case, you really motivate me to get better. On level three, combo vision. So he comes in and just like, oh, he explodes. I thought he would like do a crazy like sword slash, but he does a super explosion. All right. My impression of you changed a bit. Maybe I understand you better. I don't know what your idea of me was, but yes, I suppose we understand each other a little better than before. Ah, uh, very nice. 
Did anything interesting happen while you were in Seiran? Not no anything serious. Just mundane things. Just uh, like, did the platoon talk about anything interesting? I can't really think of anything. It was the same as always. Oh, really? With those num or with those members, I thought maybe she didn't got into an argument with someone, or Arashi was really lazy or something. Oh, now that I think about it, that is the same as always. <laughs> I just, or I think everyone got closer though. You can tell just by looking at them. Oh, everyone are best friends now. We're all best friends. Our bond is unbreakable unless you give me a lot of money. Oh, well, it looks like we might have gone through everyone. But, uh, this video has been dragging pretty long, but I still have the gift-giving parts. So maybe I'll I'll leave that for the next one. I don't want this video, the timestamp of this video, to be too long. So, yeah! Unfortunately, we're still not at a point where we can continue the story. So hopefully you'll hang in there to the next video. Uh, and the video after that, potentially. <laughs> uh, where in the next one, I'll probably be doing a lot of gift-giving. Oh, wait, I missed one. Yeah, I'll do this one in the next one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hope to see you there. I don't, uh, I feel a little unorganized at the moment, but that's okay. Hope to see you there. Um, we'll continue increasing our friendship with all these members of these people. And then, uh, hopefully when we go into the next story, we'll be better equipped. So, yeah, hope to see you there. Um, goodbye. <laughs>